low calorie options out at the grocery stores. Halo Top and those other ones tend to be more expensive. Um, these are cheaper options and I found that they taste, I've had this one before, it tastes very, very good. So um, I was gonna buy this again and then I saw the Brer's Carb Smart and I was like, let me just give it a shot. So let's compare the nutrition facts. That's important for a low calorie ice cream. So for 100 grams approximately, you get 110 calories, you get some fat, you get a good amount of carbs, it's no sugar added, but they do add sugar alcohols uh, and five grams of protein. In the briars, you get so 20% less in the same two thirds of a cup, so it's more dense. You get a little bit more calories from, you can see four grams of fat versus six. You get a little less carbs, but you get a lot less protein, which I mean, if you're comparing ice creams that you just want to have as for a snack, does a couple of grams of protein really matter? Or what does, what really matters is the taste. So I'm going to taste them side by side and uh, we'll see, we'll see what, uh, what it, uh, they taste like. I'm going to trust your weighing scale out. So what I'm going to do is weigh out exactly one serving so you can have an idea of what a serving is as well. Ninety-nine grams. That's only fifteen. So let me weigh out an equal amount of uh, one serving. So ninety-nine grams from here and eighty-one grams from there. So as you can see, volume-wise, they look very similar. Um, there's more volume. There's more weight in this, so it's a denser ice cream supposedly. And um, this, they're both two-thirds of a cup. This is a decent amount of ice cream. Honestly, this is probably the amount of ice cream you should be eating. So for one hundred ten to one hundred twenty calorie snack. I think that the amount of protein difference doesn't matter. I think what really matters is the taste and texture. So you can see this one is melting more in the bowl, even though this one was much easier to scoop. So I think because of the smaller size that um, it had less mass to retain um, its uh, lack of heat. Very, very, very slightly icy. I don't taste a fake sugar flavor from it. Very strong vanilla taste. Very tasty. Everything you'd want from a standard vanilla ice cream. I think it tastes creamy. I think it tastes good. It doesn't taste fake. So let's try this one. I know it's not vanilla, so I'm not quite comparing apples to oranges. I mean, apples to apples. You can definitely tell that this is a denser ice cream. This is much more light and airy, which Conversely, makes it feel less creamy and makes me feel like I could eat more of it. Very subtle hint that this is a little bit of a diet food. A little bit, a little bit of that fit, very, very like five, ten percent of that fake sugar taste. I like the brownie bits, so that's something different. They only offer this in vanilla. There's certain other flavors you can get this. That's why I got a different flavor, because there was an option to. Here, all I can get is vanilla. Let me compare this back to back. I think as a pure ice cream, this is tastier. Even though this has more fat in it, this tastes creamier, this tastes denser, this tastes better, it's got more protein, so why not? But this has this more interesting flavor of the brownie bits, which I really like. It's a hard choice for me, but I think I would give this ice cream an 8.5 out of 10, and I would probably give this like a 7.5 to an 8 out of 10.